Hey guys, it's Ryan Bridge Bugman, and I am hanging out with Bugman Jr. today. Um, look, it's going to be a fun day. We are headed for Fairfax, Virginia, about two hours from the headquarters, and we're going to go do a birthday party today. It's going to be an awesome day, beautiful day. So they got lucky for their party because it's going to be an outdoor event. At that party, classic Bugman birthday stuff. We're going to be doing some education, some inspiration. We're going to let the, all the, all the uh, birthday families hang out with the live bugs. Afterwards, though, we're going to head up to Manassas, Virginia, and we're doing a rescue. We're actually, we're going up to a rescue, an animal rescue, where they have a tarantula and they have a scorpion that were turned into them. I don't know the conditions. I don't know why, but but look, man, it's an opportunity to pick up some, some live bugs that nobody else really wants. Um, and we can then use those in our programs as well. So I love these opportunities to go and rescue uh, these live bugs and then use them for a really good cause, use them for a program. So Bugman Jr. and I, we're going to be rolling on up to Manassas after a while and we're going to be doing a bug rescue. So hang with me, man. This is going to be fun because it's going to be another cool day on the road with the Bugman. Uh, buddy, thank you very much for inviting me out here uh, and thank you so much for coming out and celebrating Jacob's birthday with him. Um, it's going to be an interesting day. We're going to be able to see... Uh, See how you guys deal with this. Uh, this is a really cool age group, the four, five, six year olds. I got into bugs and insects when I was like five years old. So I totally get what it's like to be sort of obsessed with bugs and insects at a, at a young age. All kids like bugs though at five or six. That's kind of when we plug in. And because of that, I kind of stayed in. And I, even when I tried to walk away from bugs and insects, I just got towed back in again. So you, you learn where your niche is. Uh, this is definitely my niche. This is where I belong and I'm really happy doing what I do. Um, Jacob, all the stuff on the table. Really neat. Because most people don't get these in These are fun. This. This is Vincent. Everybody say hi, Vincent. Vincent is a whiptail scorpion. Whiptail scorpions are super cool. Whiptail scorpions are not a true scorpion. So like true scorpions are gonna have to have like big pinchers and a big stinger and a bunch of venom, all his crazy cool tools. He doesn't have any of that stuff. Vincent is totally harmless. Cannot bite you, they're flat. Cannot bite you, he's good, he's good, he's got it. Cannot bite you, cannot sting you, and cannot hurt you, totally harmless. I get these guys all over the world, but I get the largest ones right here in the U.S. I get them in Florida. I get them all the way across to Southern California. They're a warm weather loving bug, but they're not so much a desert as they are a high desert. So these guys, when I'm in Arizona, I got to go up into the mountains and find them. All right, man, that was a ton of fun. Uh, you guys get a pretty kind of cool idea of what we do for a birthday party. Uh, Jacob is a great kid, five years old. He knew all the answers and he manned up and he held every one of those bugs and came back for more. Uh, most of the adults even stepped and engaged, which is great, man. That shows me that the influence and the inspiration is there even before I showed up, which is super cool to see adults step out of their comfort zone as well. Um, kids are easy, but adults are always my challenge. That said, we now got to go up to Manassas. We're going to slide up there to this animal rescue. We're going to try and, and uh, rescue a tarantula and a scorpion. I don't know what either of type is. It's Asian forest or an emperor scorpion. It could be any type of tarantula. I didn't even ask. I'm just happy when people ask us to come do a rescue because other than that, they'd probably put these things in a freezer and kill them. Uh, not acceptable. We can, we can always find a home for these things. Somebody who's going to appreciate them. And best of all, we can use them in education and that always works awesome. So there you go, guys. We're all done here. We're headed to uh, phase two of, to, of the day. And that's the most important part, in my opinion, is to go rescue these bugs. Stay with us. It's getting awesome. We're the bug man. He's not going to happen. Hi. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> oh, and bonding with the kitties. <laughs>
Did you have fun playing with the animals? Yes. <laughs> All right, man. Got what we needed. Okay, guys. Uh, we're back from Virginia, and um, <laughs> you're in the window of my car. Um, I want to show you what we brought home from the rescue. This is an emperor scorpion, and we have a pink toe tarantula. Uh, let's keep in mind that neither of these have names at this point. So if you guys want to jump in the comments and maybe give me some ideas what we can name these these uh, these critters, that would be awesome. This guy was already hiding again. I took their water dishes out. Check him out. Notice, um, he is a male. Notice he is glowing already just with the sunlight that's out here now. He's already, he looks green, but that's because the protein in his exoskeleton are showing off the way to fluoresce. So this is such an awesome bug. That's uh, an emperor scorpion again. And these things handle marvelously. This one in particular handles really well. I suspect he is going to become a really, really cool part of the bug man programs where we let people engage and, uh, and go hands on with these things. He, is, he doesn't want to leave. Again, I'm not a big fan of these accommodations. This lid is going to let this thing dry out in here. These guys like moisture and they like to stay in moisture. I don't know what all this tape is about. They did that at the rescue. <laughs> Hopefully that's not some sort of warning. But anyway, it is what it is. He's here now and we have him here at headquarters and he's going to go for an awesome cause. Let me get him back in under there where he's trying to go. He wants to get out of the sunlight. Super cool. Super, super happy with him. He is going to become... Uh, a definite part of what we're doing here with the education. So it's really pleased with that. Yeah, I am not a big fan of this container at all. Let me bring this up here. Okay, this one is the pink toe tarantula. I'm gonna show you through there first. Um, you can almost see the pink little toes. They're a cute little tarantula though. And the problem with these guys, as far as for programs go, they don't really make a good handling sort of bug there. You can see his little pink toes this is a really small tarantula as well sorry about the noise but because of his size we probably wouldn't use him anyway for a while i'm calling it a him and i don't even know for sure if it's a male or female i haven't really had a chance to check they didn't have a shed on hand also i would look for the hooks on the front legs to see if he's truly a male but he's not going to have those yet now there's a good chance he's going to go a million miles an hour up my arm so because these guys do scamper a bit so let me see <laughs> i love that that's a great pose right there man he looks a lot bigger than he is too trust me he's he's pretty little let me go with my hand so he's he's not a big bug at all what i gotta do is figure out how to balance this and get him to maybe come up here on my hand and behave himself. There it goes. <laughs> they can go really fast when they want to. So I'm gonna sort of keep him contained. Um, but obviously, man, look how little he is. Uh, I'd like to think that's a female. That'd be awesome if, if it was, but it doesn't make it any better for handling. Because they go so fast, they don't really appreciate being handled. And at the same time, they're a climber. So it's not uncommon for these things to do Mach 6 all the way up somebody's arm and up on top of their head. All in all, though, it's still a nice spider. We'll probably use it for observation purposes for a while. We may end up rehoming it if we get somebody who is really... Because uh, we do birthday parties and we do get people who who want to who wanna pet tarantula at times. And that's not such a bad thing. It's not a bad bug for that sort of thing. As long as they're made to understand it, it's just not always the best for handling and it's not because it'll be mean and bite you it's because it'll go it'll go Mach 9 all the way to the top of your head before you can blink an eye super super fast spiders but this one is obviously beautiful look at that I love the colors on this spider it's uh it's not as dark as a lot of them get and he might darken up down the line he or she might darken up down the line but for now just a good looking bug um I'm gonna take these up to the bug room I already have uh, accommodations prepared for them. We'll have to switch a few things out, and we're going to put them in. Uh, and I'm going to take you there right now, and we're going to get that done. So let's go see where these guys are going to get home in the... Uh, <clears throat> let's go see where these guys are going to be uh, living up in the bug room, because that's where things get really good. <laughs> All right, man, we're in the bug room. 
with all the bugs that we use in programs. Everybody's here. Everybody's doing really, really good. It's been a fantastic year. I haven't had anybody really dying off on me and, and nobody getting injured or hurt, which is always a good year uh, considering public, uh, the public access, the public en engagement that we do. So I've been really pleased with all the fun stuff going on with everything in the mix. What I've already done is I've already made the transfer. This is no longer the rescue scorpion. This is Jeffrey. Jeffrey is a, an Asian forest scorpion. Uh, he's been out on the road. He's still a little small, so I don't take him out very often. That's why I'm happy to have the new one. This is the pink toe tarantula from the rescue. All I did was transfer the, the coconut shell over. I took it out of the really wet stuff that it was in in that aquarium. Uh, and I don't like that at all. It's too high and they're a climber. I don't want him to, to fall, to go up there and then fall and hurt himself. At the same time, I'm gonna give him something a little drier or something a little more. Uh, it, this will hold moisture. This is like a forest mix or whatever they call it, substrate. But so far, he's only been in there for about five or six, 10 minutes maybe and uh, the bug seems like it's doing pretty good. But it's a low rise container which means it's not going to, uh, if, he, if he climbs up the top, it's not gonna hurt him when he drops. There's, I mean, if he dropped from a higher point and landed on the, the water dish or landed on that coconut shell, it could actually hurt him, possibly even kill him. I don't like doing that. I don't like my bugs taking chances of getting hurt like that. And he is a climber, so he's almost surely gonna be up top eventually. The emperor scorpion that we just got, I have transferred into one of these. And you'll notice I have pretty much all my scorpions in these containers. Um, they hold the moisture, they need moisture. Um, even even the babies, uh, we haven't done an update on them. Those things are about that big now. They're, they're getting really big. Um, even the babies, you know, obviously we keep them secured in something big enough to house a whole bunch because there's still probably eight or nine in there. And we keep the moisture in, that keeps everything comfortable. All I do is drop crickets in when they're, when, they're, when they're hungry. Same thing with these guys, but I like these containers because they keep everybody happy. These scorpions require moisture. They, they can't have dry environments. They just, they just don't do well with dry environments. So that's Kevin right there, man. Everybody knows Kevin, he's cool. And then I got some other small scorpions that I don't take out on the road much. These are gonna be eventual replacements for these guys if these guys die off. But in here is the, he's already in there. He's taken up, <laughs> he likes his accommodations big time. Watch this, you know what I like to do with scorpions, right? My favorite thing to do with scorpions is make them glow. I absolutely love that. Uh, Emperor scorpions glow just as much as the Asian forest scorpions do. Let's get back here and have a word with Kevin. They glow. So they have protein in the exoskeleton that picks up that ultraviolet light, makes them glow. So obviously he's fully mature. He's nice and big, bigger than Jeffrey over here, making him glow. Jeffrey's still pretty small. I've had him out on the road, but he, he just, I'd rather have bigger, more mature scorpions out with me. Look at that, he likes that. He got all turned on by that. You got to turn all the way around and look at it. Pick him up. He's such a cool bug. And they handle, I mean, these big scorpions handle well to start with, but check this dude out. I mean, he handles, he handles like a pro. Um, no problem, no worries, no aggression. He's just really calm and really content. I'm gonna set him up there for just a minute if he'll stay there. Slide this back in here where he was happy and I'm gonna put him right back in there where he's gonna go. <laughs> and he goes, I'm gonna make him glow real quick. Doo -doo. Love that. So there you go, man. Give me a uh, give me a word in the comments. Let me know what we gotta name these guys. Again, an Asian four scorpion. It is a male, definitely a male. I don't know if the tarantula is male or female. It's a little too young to check. Uh, I looked at the front legs. I also looked at the, the pedipalps and I'm just not seeing anything there that gives me a hard idea as to whether or not it's male or female. So we kind of have to, kind of have to hope it's a female if we're going to use it with the programs, but realistically, but realistically, this will probably not get used for programming as much only because we really can't hold these things too well. They just don't do good with handling. Pink toe tarantulas, or climbers and they move real fast and 
That's not always what our customers like. They don't like when bugs climb up on them. So everybody's gonna be really happy, 100% on that at least. Um, he seems to already be enjoying himself in there um, and I don't see the pink toed tarantula getting too amped up and upset about anything. So that at least tells me that he or she is doing okay as well. So guys, we are gonna wrap this up. I call this a day at Bugman headquarters. Um, coming home from that rescue. Well, what an awesome opportunity to be able to, to get these kind of bugs, better use them for education. Best of all, uh, possibly at some point we may rehome this pink toe. I have no idea if that's the plan or not. Um, I'd like to think that we're going to hang on to hang on to that spider for a little while at least and maybe even get some, some handleable use out of it. I've never been able to use pink toes really effectively though. They always seem to want to uh, climb and run. So we're going to do our best to, to hang on to that one as long as we can and then we'll find a nice suitable place for that one to go. Uh, somebody who wants a nice pet tarantula, that'll make a good one I think. That scorpion is staying with us though. I'm so happy to have that scorpion. Nice big mature, handles real well. So you get it, man. Always an interesting day with the bug man. Uh, guys, stay with me. We're going to catch up with more. We'll do an update on the baby scorpions again at some point because they're not so baby anymore, man. They're getting big. Pretty awesome. So either way, stay with us. Always a ton of fun with the bug man. Guys, take care. We'll see you. Hey, man, if you like what you're seeing here, if you enjoy the videos, and if you're getting something out of this, that is awesome. That is what I do. Be sure you like and subscribe. Guys, we're monetized now, so you're helping me cover some gas money by doing so, and I really, really appreciate it because I could not do this without you guys.